First of all, let's imagine the world without an engineer. It shows us floods without dams, hardest way of communication, black screen without electricity, slowest way of transport, files of books for storage of information. We, the engineers, had a day to dream and we try to achieve them. It is impossible before to imagine a five-story building. Now, we made it above 100. A room-sized computer changed it to size of a notebook. The speed made possible to speed up light. We not only extract electricity through thermally but also through tidal and thunder basis. Now let's watch the videos and the dreadful situations. If at all there were no wireless systems. I'll talk to you later. I'll call you back. Okay, bye. Good morning, everybody. Welcome morning. to our monthly budget review. So, is everybody ready to start? Oh, just a minute. Hello? Hello? Hello. Oh, it's me. It's me. Just a minute. I'll, I'll be right back. So, I think we need to change the numbers for us. In the case of mb In the case of notebook PCs, You may want to try this. Thank you. Thank you all. Think once. Why the engineers of India are lagging when compared to other nations? What is the position of India in different aspects when compared to the other nations? For earlier decades, we are saying India is a developing country. What are the reasons beyond for not being a developed nation. Is it lack of resources? India is blessed with all kinds of resources. India stands in second position in population. In India, the basis of engineering concept were there right before the times of Ramayana. चलो शुरू करते हैं वी कैन सी द स्किल यूज इन द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ राम सेत ब्रिज बिटवीन इंडिया एंड श्रीलंका Several civil engineering concepts were involved in the construction of this bridge. <laughs> in video, we can see the architect waving his hand and giving suggestions. 
the rocks float in water due to their low specific gravity when compared to sea water. A child born in India, fed up with all the talent and skill in India and surrendering all his talent to the foreign nation. In a small country like Japan, Indian engineers becoming the backbone of their IT industry with over 22,000 Indian engineers. Not only in Japan, in many other countries, the Indian engineers were playing a key role in developing their industry. So I request our engineers to dedicate the talent to our mother India. Our Mother Earth is destructing day by day, whether it may be through greenhouse effect or through global warming. An engineer should go in the concept of green engineering in order to save our Mother Earth. A mechanical engineer should implement his designs in a non-toxic manner. A civil engineer should design houses which reduces the greenhouse effect. In India, the count of cell phones is more than that of the population. Green engineers had already designed a harmonic chip that reduces the side effects of using cell phones. Electrical engineers should develop the concept of renewable energy in a reliant manner. save the planet until now we dealt with different branches of engineering and now let's view about global engineering who is a global engineer an engineer with green knowledge and who doesn't forget his mother nation till his last breath so be a global engineer and join in the helping hands of our mother earth About 150 years back, a star raised in India, in Karnataka, who made to feel pride of being an engineer, had born. He is none other than the eminent personality of Bharat Ratna Sri Mokshagannam Visveswaraya Garu. Visveswaraya Garu. He is actually a native of Andhra, Prakasham district. Sir Mokshagannam Visveswaraya implemented an extremely intricate system of irrigation in Deccan area. He installed flood raising gates at Tigra Dam in Gwalior and also Krishna Sagar Dam in Mysore. He designed a flood protection system to protect the city of Hyderabad from floods. He was also instrumental in developing a system to protect Visaka port from sea erosion. Sir Mokshagundam Visveswaraya supervised the construction of KRS Dam across Kaveri River in the concept of inauguration. This was the biggest dam ever in Asia, for which he was rightly called the father of modern Mysore state. He was also instrumental in charting out the plan for road construction between Tirumala and Tirupati. He was known for his sincerity, time management and dedication to a cause many awards like Diwan of Mysore, Knight Commander and Precious Bharatratna Award. On this occasion of his birthday, we celebrate this day as an Engineer's Day. <laughs> 